Hey guys, SKX here, and we're back for what could very well be, I'm su I'm suggesting the second to last episode of Star Fox Adventures. We could be finished. Anyway, onto the puzzles. What we must do now is we have to push these blocks into these sun blocks, and they're not allowed to touch the walls. So it's an interesting one, we just gotta... Hmm. We're allowed to bounce them off other sun blocks. So if I were to do that... Push here. And then... Yeah, there we go. Not too difficult. Right, now this is something you really don't really know about. Now for this, you will need the high def display device. Now what you want to do is look there, you see that, and zoom in. And thus we have opened the Sun Temple. Now all me saying that Walled City is too small. I do still think it's kind of small, but this, it does add some reason to the walled city. And if there was anywhere they would have had, they should have added these areas, walled city was the right place, it was the right choice. God oh, damn it! Come on, get over here! There you go. Anyway, the idea here is we need to push the moonstone on the moon block. So I've been playing too much Pokemon. That moon block into the blue light, and the sun blocks need to go in the red light with the pictures facing outward. Well, out and not into the block. You know what? I'm, you know what I mean. See, this starts to feel really sort of temple y, doesn't it? Probably because we are in a temple. But you get what I mean. You get what I mean. And there are two of these temples. See, the Sun Temple and the Moon Temple. We're currently doing the Sun Temple. And that's that done. We just gotta put the last one in and we're good. Alright, now activate this with a super ground quake, and we have a maze to complete, a portal at the end. Now it's a simple maze right, that looks easy to complete, but you'll notice the invisible wall stopping you halfway. Now there's always something nearby that will help open it, like in this case there's this switch, tricky shut up. And it is quite easy to run out of time on this. It's probably usually best to find the invisible wall first. Then again, if you bump into something like this, then always do it. Because it will, it will never be for no reason. Come on, out of the way, grub tubs, don't have time for this. Oh god. Whoa. Oh, fire blast. Um, flame time. Come on, Tricky. We only have 25 seconds left. Alright, now that's that done. Now what we need to do is we need to hit the switches in order of how the sun rises. Sort of the dawn to dusk we need to hit it. So in this case we need to hit we need to hit it in the order dawn, day, dusk. 
Oh no, just going to quite get it perfect. No, I need to inward. Oh, come on! Nice. And we get another one of these ghostly paths, like we did back on... Dark Ice Mines, was it? This is a sunstone. Place it underneath the temple to reveal the Krizoa Shrine. Alright, we have the sun. Now we need to go get the moon. These are sort of... They kind of remind me of mini volcano and a... Volcano? What's a volcano? Actually, no, that sounds really wrong. I'm so sorry. But, um, they kind of remind you of a volcano and ocean force point temples. When I said that word wrong, that came out of something. I'm really, really sorry. But, anyway, on to some. The moonstone! Of course. It's a lovely day outside at the walled city. The walled city looks like a nice place. It's not really a city, it's just three temples. That I did think was one temple, but you know the Earthwalkers seem to be able to be content sleeping on the ground. So, you know, if that's what they want, I'm not complaining. Here we are, the Moon Temple. Now, same principle here, we have to push the moon blocks into these moon icons without touching the walls of the sun. Some people prefer some to others, I'm not sure how you prefer it, but... Hmm... Let me think... If I were to... Bit of a confusing one. I think I've got it. Uh, yeah, I've got this. And once again, same thing. Take your high def display device, stand on top of the temple, and look straight down to open the moon temple. I'm not sure which one of, which one you found hardest, or if you found them both easy or both hard. If you played this game, go put it in, descri in the description. Right, the comments. Whoa! Oh man, that must be bright. Looking directly at the moon, not really, but looking directly at the sun, yeah. Actually, that looks pretty bright, even on my recording. Okay, here we are. Right, now this one I've had a lot of problems with in the past. Now, pretty simple. What we have to do is... Oh, God! Take two. What we have to... <laughs> what we have to do is get through here, but the platforms like to fall down. Oh, God. Take three. We're going across there. In fact, Tricky, would you like to run across? <laughs> That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? I wonder if rolling would have any effect. I don't think there's space to roll. Oh, God. Alright, we're through. Oh, it's just an open walk to there. Nope. Super ground quake. we got 35 seconds, and what you'll actually find is an invisible maze. Anyone who's played Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, Kogu's Gym, will be completely familiar. Is it Koga? It's Koga, isn't it? They will be immediately familiar to how this works. Pretty basic. One more portal. I think that's the last portal we ever have to open. 
Right, now this one works easier. We have to do quarter crescent to half moon to full moon. Ah, uh, I was hoping to get that straight away. Oh, no. Come on, I've got a little bit of mana left. Got it. And that's it. We get these awesome ice blasts. Or moon blasts. That don't actually hurt me. It's a bit strange. A moonstone. Place it underneath the temple to reveal the Kurosawa Shrine. Oh god, they do hurt you. Doesn't matter. And there you go. Two temples. That were pretty good, let's be honest. But now we have the Sun and Moon Stones. And it's time to open the fifth Krizoa Shrine. Alright, what we'll have to do here is return to the entrance to the lair of the Red Eye King. And you will remember where we put the gold and silver tufts, will you not? Well, if you do them, there you go, well done. If you don't, then here they are. Now they extended, but if we put the sunstone. For a pretty awesome tune. And we get it again if we do the moonstone. I'll shut up for this one. And there it is. Right on top of the temple. The tip of the spear. And now it's time to go up to the Krizoa shrine. And collect ourselves the fifth spirit. I really need to stop looking at my recording when I'm walking, because I'll end up, I just end up walking into walls. It's a bit stupid thing to do. Stupid, stupid. I'm surprised we get clouds up here, because I didn't see any clouds on the planet map. Let's go. Here we are, because of a shrine number five. Now really, this should be one of the hardest to get to. One of the harder tests. Stuck up a mana. Funnily enough, not. The flames are just there to put you off. They're not going to stop you in your tracks. All you really need to do is just go straight forward. There's no time here, so we might as well ice blast these. Save us a little bit of health. Actually, wait. Hang on, is there a fire blast thing opposite that? Oh, there is. Nice.
This is pretty easy to get to, because like I said, these things aren't going to stop you. They're going to hurt you, yeah, but that's not exactly going to hold you back from getting to the fifth Krozoa spirit, is it? But look around. Take a good look at these, because they're going to be needed for the fifth test. Looks like Moon Mountain Pass there. That is definitely the walled city. Trust me, this will help for when we go into the test. That... No, wait, that's Moon Mountain Pass. So, wait, what was that? Is that Snowhorn Waste or the Dark Ice Mines? I don't know. It's... That there is Lightfoot Village, definitely. And that is Cloudrunner Fortress. Here we go. Test number five, the test of knowledge. Match the items with the levels. If you succeed, I will become yours to return to the Krizoa Palace. This has got one of my favorite themes of a, of the game. You know, I'm just going to keep quiet because quiet, you got to listen to this. Just a great example of how underrated some of this music can be. But, there we go. You know when you're coming up to the end of the game when it gives you something like the test of knowledge where it asks you to look back at the, your previous playing experience. And by that actually kind of makes you want to play the game again if it does that. Because you look at that and you think, wow, I really had fun at that bit. I want to go and do that again. And therefore you do. You did it! You collected the fifth Krizoa spirit. It will remain in your body until you take it to the Krizoa palace where it must be released. This is it, Tricky. It's time to say goodbye. I know you're right, Fox. It's just... Yeah, I know. I'm gonna miss you too. Without your help, this mission would have failed. So I've got something for you. Prince Tricky, Earthwalker, you are now an honorary member of the Star Fox team. Dad, did you hear that? Me, a member of Star Fox. Do I get my own spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come and visit you soon. Just don't make it too long, okay? And that's it, that's the last time we ever get to use Tricky. He will follow us if we stay in the walled city, but as soon as we leave here, he will stay. Say goodbye, Tricky. He was right with... I said at the beginning of the game, Tricky was a bit annoying, but you grow on him through the game. And he really did help. He came to a lot of use. It was good. Tricky helped this game become something, something separate to Zelda. He's one of the many elements in the game that tells fans this may have taken inspiration from Zelda, but it definitely is not a Zelda ripoff. You know, things like Tricky and the Arwing really does set it apart. But here we go. One last Arwing flight. We're not allowed to fly to anywhere else. Look, everything's locked. Yep, that's what I meant. We won't get to see Thorntail Hollow anymore. Because we're going to land on the Krizoa Palace. But, every, now I can really start to sum up this game. Look. 
we've got one last area and that's the Krizoa Palace. This game started really good. I mean, the thing with Crystal, you really get you start to learn about general scales and the spirits. You get a bit confused about the languages, but still. And just as you start to get attached to Crystal, she gets captured, and then you play as Fox McCloud to save her, and it starts putting a completely different approach on the game. Sometimes for the better, sometimes not so. But the game really did show its moments of glory. And I really did enjoy it. But like I said, it's not over yet. Let's see if we can finish this in one final episode. I think we can. There's Crystal, the spirit, and there's me. Ha 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 ha! But we're here, I'm going to leave it there. So yeah, I'm SKX, it's been Star Fox Adventures. Join us for one final episode. Take care, guys.